Many years ago, I had a small program in uh, a religious radio. My task was to interview over the phone various people on their devotion to St. Anthony. These people were not only ordinary citizens, but also writers, politicians, and people in the showbiz. One day, I was in my office when the phone rang. It was the receptionist of the Basilica informing me that a certain person wanted to talk to me. This was a person I had interviewed a few months before, the actress Silvana Pampanini. Silvana Pampanini was a glamorous Italian diva who starred in over 50 films and reigned as an icon of Italian beauty in the 1950s. She worked with the likes of Marcello Mastroianni, Vittorio De Sica, Vittorio Gassman, Jean Gabin, and even Buster Keaton. She wanted to tell me something she had forgotten to tell me during the radio interview. So I led her to one of the parlors in our friary, where she sat down with grace and elegance. She told me that uh, in 1949 she starred uh, in a film on our dear saint. It was called Antonio di Padova and uh, it was directed by Piero Francisci. At the time the movie was quite successful because people liked uh, religious uh, film in those days. One morning they were supposed uh, they were scheduled to shoot a very dramatic scene in which Silvana was supposed to weep. Being an experienced actress, she wept without the help of eye drops and the director shouted, cut. He was so delighted that he wanted to take a close up of her teary eyes. However, at this point, Something backfired psychologically because Silvana was not, no longer able to cry. In the end, they had to use fake tears as a, as a last resort, a few drops of glycerin on the corner of her eyes. But as soon as the drops were applied, she felt uh, a sharp pain and suddenly she was not, not able to see anything. She screamed aloud and bent forward, putting her hands over her face. In that precise moment, the blades of a massively heavy fan flew right over her head and stuck the floor. If Silvana had not lowered her head because of the pain in her eyes, those massive blades would surely have hit her directly on the head, either killing her or seriously wounding her. Silvana was certain that it was St. Anthony who had obscured her vision and uh, in order to induce her to lower her head. She was certain that St. Anthony had saved her life. In the Gospel of St. John, Jesus says to his disciples, Very truly I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works I've been doing. So, given Jesus' promise, it is not surprising that many miracles have been attributed to St. Anthony's intercession, both when he was alive and even after. Anthony was in fact a man who loved God passionately and constantly proclaimed and lived the truth of the Gospel. Silvana never forgot what she believed St. Anthony had done for her and she often visited the Basilica of St. Anthony here in Padua until she died in 2016 at the age of 90. And now, let us pray together. O oh, Father, through the intercession of St. Anthony, Doctor of the Church, let us keep and remember your teaching constantly so that we may practice it with the strength and courage in the name of Christ, our Lord. Amen.